Hello, and welcome to a brand new day of free-to-play here on Magic the Gathering Arena. Get the dish on the latest with me, Lord Rumfish. So, in the first part of this video, I drafted up this black-red deck. This is a Crimson Vow quick draft. And today, I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, go back to part one if you'd like to see um, all the choices I've made in great detail. Um, today is all about the play. First, yes, this is all right. I've only really got a couple of one drops in the deck. Um, three cards. So the opponent might be on screen, so we're going to play a lantern bearer. We got the rainbow wolf. Yeah, blue white. It's a dangerous card. Normally I wouldn't want to trade with it because it would give you a ton of value, but I can get this desperate farmer out, and now the opponent has uh, something to think about. All right, maybe they have removal for the desperate farmer. Uh, see, they're, they're double thinking, right? Okay, I just got through there. Right? They, they would have probably loved to make that trade except they don't want to flip the farmer. This is what you get into when you get desperate farmers on the battlefield. The opponent starts playing the game entirely differently. Yeah, I can race him. Lifelink lets me race. In fact, this courier bot could get me back something uh, if they die on this attack, as long as the desperate farmer gains me life. I'll go ahead and come in. Interesting. Okay. Maybe they got a counter spell? No. Yeah, blue white spirits. Oh, it's pretty Okay. Okay. See you there. Alright, this time they would like to block. Do it. Do it. Back up, Desperate Farmer. They could still run away with this game. <laughs> the, uh, the Whispering Wizard is a difficult one to deal with. They can only get up to four toughness, though, with that Drog Skull infantry. Yeah, they really don't want that depraved harvester on the battlefield. No matter how many flyers they make, the harvester, they've got to get rid of them. Okay, they do not attack. So, I've got the choice of a desperate farmer or a pyre spawn this time. I think I'll go ahead and get this Desperate Farmer down. The threat of flipping it over is going to make all the choices for the opponent hard. And they've got all their mana open, so they've got a trade. Okay, it's a Lunar Rejection. They get a 1 1. They did not get the cheap version of Lunar Rejection. So, let's see. You're blocking the bat? That's fine. Now I've got this three man to play the other desperate partner. That kind of worked out. <laughs> yeah, usually if you're the opponent, you don't want to bounce something that the opponent can immediately replay. Now they got it from the back side back to the front side, and they didn't know I didn't have another use for my mana. But they can't play both auras. That would take seven mana, and their life total is getting very low. 
once again they still need to stop this depraved harvester. Pumping up the wizard does not make it big enough. Air protector, not with the Maybe they can play a one mana creature? No, they cannot. Okay. Interesting. Alright, well. Uh, three, four. Coming in. Coming in. Okay, they're gonna trade off that wizard. Sure. I've got a choice here of Pyre Spawn and Soren. And that is a tricky one. So, Soren is a fantastic card, but it's good to be mana efficient, and I think the Pyre Spawn actually has at this point, when I have the mana to play it, is maybe a faster clock to close out the game than Soren does. It doesn't fly. But that doesn't matter much because the opponent can make a lot of flying creatures. Okay, right now they're making a bunch of ground creatures. That's fine too. Coming up. Just not stop. I think I should plus Soren No here. cost is too great to quell my people's savagery. Yeah, I'm gonna plus him. See if I can find a card. Okay. Sure. My ways are not for the weak. I can block with the wolf and activate it. Maybe I should have minus Soren, but the opponent has tricks and plays and things they can do, and maybe they could clear out a blocker. I'd rather have him on 5 toughness. Okay, um, so here I don't block, I counterattack, and I kill them. Without me, we're all doomed. They have to play, yeah, the thing to, uh, opponent, advantage. They have to play the thing to, uh, deep hump the runebound wolf here. But, I still have lethal. Game 2 against Binzi753. Up against gold again. This looks fine. Actually, get one of my one drops. Only one of them's a creature. Most one drop creatures don't impact the board enough to matter. Now, if the opponent here has uh, some way to um, make life gain useful with the Traveling Minister, they could uh, potentially have some synergy there. Uh, they are just, just doing that. Alright. So I could get down the wolf. They probably are not going to block. Uh, the other thing I can do here is I can equip the Ceremonial Knife. What are we doing? Let me, uh, put a stop after combat. Hey, make blood hook. Activate. Um... I suppose I should be responsible and discard the Pyre Spawn. Uh, that would probably be the responsible thing to do. Yeah, all right. And now there is an Odious Witch. The opponent would really like to uh, not get hit by that every turn. 
They actually have a little bit of life gain themselves. Um, so I suppose it's a race. I wonder if they have a counter spell. Well, I think they're just gonna attack first here, see what they do. Uh, tapping it's not that big of a deal. Alright, I think I'll go ahead and get down Soren. I think he's got the highest upside here. For the sake of all Innistrad, my will must be obeyed. Now, if they clear out this token and you we can get in and attack them, then that doesn't feel great, but that's damage that's not going to my face. If they pump the Drake and attack him, I will walk. Okay. Walk. You got a trick? Nope. It's just a 2 1 4. Okay, now they've got a lifelinker. Interesting. Well, we'll go ahead and plus this turn. Take it. You wish to Let's know see. my secrets? So, yeah, I could Very double well. spell here. I might as well. I'd like to flip it to night so. This Odia switch is about to untap again. See if we have made a tempo point. I'm probably gonna have to block with that shield basher. Really? Okay. <laughs> I just did it to gain life. They were gonna trade for my Epicure, um, because the weary prisoner could block there. Alright. So I think I do want to use Soren for his creature making ability. I think I want to get as much use out of him in that regard as I can. You will serve me well. I'd like to discard this swamp with the blood token. Let's go ahead and pass to combat. Come in with the witch. Definitely wanted attacking. They're not willing to trade. Okay. And Go ahead and move this to the vampire in the sky. Let it flip to now. Now we've got a Wrathful Jailbreaker. The opponent needs to double spell. But they would like to attack with this indestructible thing. So I think trading the Epicure here for Soren's ability to draw a card is worth it. I could just block with the Jailbreaker. Um, but I don't want to give him the opportunity. Okay, that's fine. Shield Basher would be nice. But, get rid of this swamp. And let's get rid of this mountain. Spells, spells, spells. There we go. There we go. This is some nice stuff here. Mountain, sure. Take it. Nothing on Innistrad is free. So, all in. What you got, opponent? Okay. A uh, big menace. I think that'll be worth it. I'll end the turn. Don't want to flip it back today yet. I could let Soren die here at some point. Yeah, lifelink. So we're in a weird race now here. They have a lot of life gain, but I don't think they have enough. Let's find out. We'll find out if they've got enough. Yeah, I'll let Soren die here. That is just fine. No blocks. How do you feel about your choices? Tragedy befalls us all. Geist. Alright. Let's drop off this mountain. Fire spell. Okay, we double spelled. So now I'm free to double spell here. I'll go ahead and get this desperate farmer down. So now if they want to trade in combat, it's not that pretty. And let's see, I think. I'll go ahead and get the hungry ridge wolf down here. It's less mana intensive. I'd rather play the pyre spawn. Yeah. 
over and over and over. Not stopping. It's weird because the opponent and I both have lifelink. Yeah, you come right in here. See, when you've got the shield bashers, they're awful on defense, really. No blocks, don't care. Take 9, go to 19. The opponent really needs something to break out of the cycle that we're in here. Yeah, if you nullify him, I'll just move the equipment over. That's fine. He can block and die to one of your shield bashers. And I will go big on this harvester. There we go. And I could let it flip back to Knight as well. I think getting the Innocent Traveler down is probably really nice though. Yeah, that's the only one that's going to the block. So yeah, Innocent Traveler, this is, this is a really strong card. I don't want it to flip over. Right, these are humans. They, they do not want this Innocent Traveler to be a 5 3 flyer. Do not. The unfortunate thing is, you know, they've got this life-linking shield basher, they can make it fly, they can pop its power, and this depraved harvester makes it to where it just kind of doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't care. I could block with the weary prisoner, maybe. Don't care. You gonna sack something? Oh ho 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 ho! Alright then, opponent. You do you. So... Let's come in here. I think I might have forgotten to block with a vampire token last turn. I meant to do that. You're letting it die. You got, you got a trick. Piercing light on the wolf. Sure. Trade with Shield Basher. Alright. Shield Basher on defense. That's what you like to see. That is what you like to see. Let's flip it tonight. Vampire token. Sure. So you did have a trick for the Wrathful Jailbreaker. I suspect it was. Okay. We're going back today, so let's go ahead and get a double spell in here, maybe. Prisoner. Dumbbell Wolf. Should I hold the swamp? I don't know, I might need this mana. I think I might actually need this mana. Okay. Come in. Now they're starting to get a little bit ahead this lifelinker. Okay. 
So, I can activate the wolf. I can use the knife. They'd really like to bounce the flyer, probably. So I'm going to put it on the villager. Two come in. Well, I flipped a knife. Yeah, they can't do anything but attack here. Okay, got a little blocker. Let's start this mountain. Okay. So Rich Wolf would put another wolf onto the battlefield. Do I have lethal? I think I do. Oh, well they have a blocker. We'll see. See, I have one, two, three, four wolves right now. So if I play the fifth one, I activate the room down wolf, then they die. Okay. Rank up to silver. Game three, Silar Kramer. What is that? Is that diamond? Is that diamond? <laughs> Have I paired silver up to diamond? It looks like I am. Opponent goes first. Oh, and his hand's fine. It's got a 2 3 4. Okay. Guess I will lead with a swamp. Um, got the Runebound Wolf, so I guess I could lead with the Rid Wolf here, maybe can attack next turn for three, or maybe it can help me flip the Desperate Farmer. Are they going to use the Blood Token already? We got two black. Discard, Flourishing Hunter. Okay, so they are green-black, they've got a giant 6-6, six, six. so their deck goes big. My deck goes pretty big. But... If you're running Flourishing Hunters, it's a sign that maybe they go as big or bigger than this deck will. Alright, I cannot get through that Gluttonous Guest this turn. So... I think I should be mana efficient. Lead with the Belligerent Guest, I think. Yeah, because the Desperate Farmer is sort of like you can drop it down onto the battlefield, and then swing in and then transform it. it so you kind of want to play at the turn that you're going to attack, so you kind of set up a little bit before you play the farmer. I'm a little bit bottlenecked on black mana at the moment. I decided not to run that one. Um, when they're stalling the board like this, it's uh, actually pretty useful. Let's see, I can double spell here. I could get the epic here and the farmer down. Actually, I could play the epic here, the ragged recluse, and flip it. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think I like that. Uh, go ahead and swing in if they've got a combat trick. I'd rather them use it. Okay. So. 
So I'm going to stop here. I want to make absolutely certain I don't miss my window. And discard. Hmm. I guess the runebound wolf. Keep the bigger, bigger spells. And got an odious witch. So Glutton's guest is a good blocker. Um, I'm starting to get a pretty good board to attack into it though. Gifted things, okay. We'll kill off the wolf. I mean, I might have killed off the guest, but. Except it's a vampire, right, right. It'll trip you up every time. Sawblade Slinger, I do not have any artifacts. Glad I used that blood token. I'm okay. I don't have any zombies for it to fight either. Okay. So, I can attack in with the guest and the witch, and they can block with the slinger, but maybe doing so will not be a very good choice for them if I have this desperate fire. I gotta do it anyway. Take their blocks. Fill the open switch. Flip into the depraved harvester. Oh, death toucher. Okay. Death toucher, death toucher. Um, I don't really have removal in this deck. So... Well, maybe I start going wide here. Yeah, maybe I start going wide. Maybe if I can flip it tonight, the weary prisoner will get killed by the scorpion instead. I'd rather have the harvester on the table to some extent. I mean, the, the, uh, the wrathful jailbreaker has a faster clock. Sack their blood fountain. Got those back. Okay, okay. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, I do need mana. Um, I don't think it's that important to play the recluse here. I think I can let it flip tonight. I might be able to double spell. But. Just getting the recluse on the field when I can't flip it doesn't seem all that important to me. Uh, yeah, no blocks. I prefer to attack you. I might get a pyre spawn down next turn. I think that would be worth keeping it on day to get the pyre spawns down. The Slinger again. No artifacts, no zombies. Okay, they did flip today. I am going to play Fire Zombies. I am doing that. No attacks. I think I will block with the Pyre Spawn if they attack in. Can kill uh, potentially the Hunter and the Scorpion both, or the Hunter and the Slinger. do that. I'll do that. Block here, block here, sure. Play your tricks. And I can Alice. Nasty. Burn out that scorpion. Probably double spelling again. Keeping it very much on daytime on their side. Playing security, okay. Okay, let's pick. So, 
Getting the pyre spawns down is just very useful. They have a trick once, but they can't have a trick every turn of the game. So if I can block, you know, in such a way, maybe uh, Harvester trades with the uh, Wedding Security or with the Epicure, and Pyre Spawn blocks the Hunter and then kills it post combat damage. Man, seems to be a lot of life gain in this format. Had a big life gain game against an opponent. flips over, you get a uh, heart advantage and stuff. Okay, I get Recluse. Ceremonial Life. Go ahead and equip this up to the prisoner. Send it back. This is really a game here. As I suspected, my opponent's deck is like, it's big, it's greedy, it's got, you know, lots of stuff going on in it. Um, oh, stop the two. I think I can get a blood token on defense too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Beginning of your end step. Okay, doesn't trigger on the opponent's turn. They actually have something to use with the Hellpack Piper this late in the game, and it's even something good? <laughs> Life's not fair. Why would they even have a creature in their hand to be able to put out with the Hellpack Piper at this stage of the game? Okay. So this one's 5-5 Trampler, gives your other creatures plus 1 plus 0. Um, Wild Song Howler. Um, so when it transforms in, you look at the top 6, reveal a creature card, it's a Toxic Scorpion. And put the rest on the bottom. They are actually deeper into their deck than I am. Alright, so Wrathful Jailbreaker is attacking. And I see no reason not to. Not that I can stop it. They're taking it. So. This card is home. I'm gonna flip over the Ragged Recluse. Play this Wrathful Jailbreaker post combat. Yep, Ragged Recluse is gonna flip into an Odious Witch. Really got a game going here. Alright, so the Howler is going to keep drawing them cards, and that is a problem. Um, getting them onto the battlefield for free should not matter, they have seven mana. So that should not matter. Greedy SOB is running a red card. A red card. Are they running this red card with like no red sources, just hoping they're gonna get it into play with their Hellpack Piper? They must have a mountain or two somewhere in their deck. So um Child of the Pack is a decent card. It's not that great as a splash, 
Um, as your only splash card, you can activate it once a turn, never twice, if you don't have two red. Um, when it flips over, it's good, obviously. Yeah, Scorpion will give something death touch. I think I'm pretty okay with trading here. Yeah, let's trade. Die. I'm gonna go ahead and discard this mountain now. Yeah, they are still ahead deeper into their deck than I am, so. Alright, I can play a spell and re-equip the knife. No reason not to, uh... I mean, they're gonna block with the scorpion, but I might as well force their hand here. Okay. So, Ravager, since it's night, I'll go ahead and take advantage of it being night. Lampholt, Ravager, put the knife on it. It's big enough to trade with the Savage Pack Mate. And you get blood tokens on defense, too, when you block, and it deals combat damage. Oh no, oh no, that's probably the turning point right there. That's very, very bad. We've been, uh, I've been holding them off for such a long time. Um, but this is bad now. Okay, I think I'm going to have to block with things. Uh, let me, let me make it the big stuff here. I, I don't think I can actually survive this attack. I think they've just got lethal. Uh, it feels like they've been a little bit ahead the whole game. Their deck just kind of goes a little bit bigger than this deck does. Um, you kill their pack mate, um, block a gluttonous guest. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Can I actually live here? I can't. I can if I chunk block. No, 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 it's got trample. Okay. Still die. So, uh, I think when they got that Halpack Piper and they happened to have something stuck in their hand that they needed to get on the battlefield, that was ridiculous. <laughs> well, take your bad beats, right? Okay, up against Chef Solos. Is that Diamond again? Am I Silver against Diamond again? Go first. Uh, don't have the colors. I'm gonna mulligan this. This is better. This is much better. Eep. Send back the Pyre Spawn. I'll find it later. This Blood Fountain might be able to smooth out the draw a little. Maybe flip um, an Odious Witch at some point. Alright, two drop. Could be worse. Don't have a good play on three. Another wolf. Another wolf. Hmm, do I offer this trade? But it's not sure whether they want to offer the trade either. Are they stuck on two? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. There's their third land. And you're keeping all their mana open. Interesting. Well, I need the cards in my hand right now. So... Uh, if they've got a removal spell which they seem like they're representing. I think I'm going to play the Weary Prisoner here. Turns on the Ridge Wolf. I don't think I attack here. Um, if I'm getting onto the board and they're keeping their mana open, holding tricks, 
then I am just going to advance my game while they stall. Okay, there's a ballista watch. Okay, so Hungry Rich Wolf can trade with either of the blockers over there. This is a good opportunity to get down the Desperate Farmer and swing back. Yep, let it through. Probably would have blocked if that Desperate Farmer wasn't there. It completely changes the game when it gets on the battlefield. Attacking and blocking turns really weird. Ooh, two Ballista Watchers. Okay, if they get six mana next turn, they can actually, like, start pinging two twos down by using all of their mana. Interesting. I mean, I have a Blood Fountain, I could get some things back from the graveyard, and that is incredibly mana intensive. Coming in with the Rich Wolf. Alright, we're gonna play this Innocent Traveler, be mana efficient. I'm gonna hold the Swamp for a minute. I uh, still might get some value out of this blood token, and I might be able to flip a witch at some point. If it was a mountain, I might have gone ahead and put it on the battlefield. I do need double red at the top end of the curve. Okay, they're not doing a double ping yet. Evolving wilds. Taxidermist. So, alright, they're gonna have seven mana next turn. Nothing else that could let them double spell. So, what about the traveling? What do you think, Chloe? Would you like to sack something? They would not, it's a 5-3, my goodness. Okay. Uh, so now I've got a use for 5 mana here. I guess I'll do it. So, um, ceremonial knife. Slap that puppy on the Ridge Wolf. If they have a removal spell, they're probably going to hit the Farmer. So putting it on the Farmer has more upside, but... So... The 2-6, the Weary Prisoner, is uh, kind of making it to where they're having trouble getting in on the ground. Even though their board is somewhat comparable to mine. Alright, let's see if they save this Watcher. Okay, massive fight. They are saving it. So it wins that combat. The Harvester flips over. And, I mean, I already played a spell, I might as well play two. Maybe it'll go to nighttime soon. It's dangerous. The opponent's also on werewolves over here. It's dangerous to go to nighttime. Okay, I've got uh, removal for my flyer. Glad I attacked. Okay, Raconteur, I would really like this to come down on the night side. So, I uh, think what I do here is I 
equip up this harvester. Swing it. Make a trade. See, it's not a great trade, but their life total is under extreme pressure. And the more that happens over the course of the game, uh, the more difficult it becomes for them to make profitable blocks. Blocking at some point. Those ballista wielders are very dangerous. Make no mistake. Um, but they need them. Or not. Maybe I am screwed. Another removal. Why not? They just draw nothing but gas. Forever and always the end. could force this desperate farmer to flip when I attack in with the Ridge Wolf. And then I can equip it with the Ceremonial Knife. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's good at racing against their uh, crackback with the lifelink. Okay. It's risky, because this is a bad attack. I mean, maybe they just have it. Maybe they just always have it, forever and always the end. Maybe I made a mistake letting it flip tonight. But, yeah, they remember to ping my face there. Flourishing Hunter, that is not good news. Not good at all. Um, yeah, I think I make this trade. With that Hunter on the board, I think I make this trade. I think I do it. My god, they have everything. They just can't draw a They can't do it. It's impossible for them to draw lands. Get rid of this epic here. Okay. Um Lamb Holt. And I do need a second red. This is terrible. They've always had something, they just keep drawing gas. Yeah, no blocks. Should I have used the blood fountain there? Maybe there was a two mana creature that I could get back from the graveyard? Or a three mana one? Oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Um. I mean, actually, I'm, I'm just dead. Really and truly, I'm just dead. Um, they can force both of my creatures not to be able to block. I guess I make them do that and make them find that one. But if they're activating the Ballista Wielders now, they probably have read the text box. 
and they know that they can make me not walk. They have, they have yet to have done it this entire game, but I think now is the moment they're going to. Oh, they actually had nine with the taxidermist. Three activations, that's crazy. Are you really not going to do it? Come on, activate the wielders. <sighs> Idiot. Idiot, you had lethal. I guess you still do, but... See, you could have just made it where my creatures didn't walk and you attacked them for some damage. As it is, you just barely accomplish it. They don't know how the card works. Oh well. This hand looks okay. Don't have the double black for the traveler yet. We got a two drop and a three drop though. Three lands. It's pretty reasonable. Is this going to be an aggressive vampire deck? Or maybe they decided, like me, that they really wanted the blood to me. I finally got paired up against Silver again. Okay, that's got enough uh, mountains. <laughs> I mean, I need to get to the Pyre Spawn, but if you're gonna give me a land, give me a Swamp. And after that, no more lands for the rest of the game, please. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. They're running sure strikes. I don't think those are very good. Play a belligerent guest. So yeah, they spent their turn three playing a combat trick and not committing anything onto the battlefield. There are three colors. Huh, they've actually got a death cap played here. Red, black, green. The combination some call Riveteers. Or Jund. Okay, they're taking their turn four to clear out my blocker. So their little 1-1 one, one Epicure can attack. Haven't gotten my uh, second swamp yet. Here's a fearful villager. Please, enlighten me. Attack with this Epicure again. Spend your turn five on another combat trick, or a removal spell. Commit no more things to the board. I'm happy to keep marching towards this fire spawn. They do! They use a hero's downfall! A super premium piece of removal on this fearful village. I... I'm flabbergasted, frankly. Okay, here's a desperate farmer. I'll block with him, too. Okay, they finally play another creature. Child of the Path. 
I keep getting the land, so I'm gonna play this pirate spawn. Unfortunately, I might flip it to night for them on my next turn if I don't get a swamp or a spell I can cast. gonna play defense, but keeping it off of turning to knight, I want to pressure the opponent. Right, they could put everything in front of this pyre spawn and kill it, but then between its uh, combat damage and its death trigger, it would kill everything of theirs. So the chump block with the doom is the obvious play. Now they are getting a little bit of value here. They've got a blood fountain, right? And they've got this doomed dissenter. So they're starting to turn on a little bit of a recursion aristocrats, you know, value cycle. They played the rock type their game. Okay. So do I want two Desperate Farmers instead of this Pyre Spawn? I believe the answer is yes. I'm going to burn out their zombies. Okay. Now, block if you dare. In my eight life on the way. They let it through. Okay. <laughs> Should I let it flip to night? Should I? Mm. Uh, should probably just get this ridge wolf down. Another werewolf. Rack and turn. That could trade with my harvester if they do a double block here. I'm going to flip it tonight. And in that regard, I think I would rather their board be smaller. I don't think I have a good reason to play another mountain in this spot. If I draw a swamp, you know, I can play the Traveler. Uh, this isn't great. Maybe if they're really aggressive here, then I can uh, attack back with lifelink. Okay, so they do an Ancestral Anger. They do not know that I have two useless cards in my hand, so this aim for the head that they just cast is uh, useless, basically. The only thing those mountains were for was fodder for uh, blood tokens at this point. So yeah, they got nothing with their aim for the head. They feel pretty good about that. So I'm gonna leave back the packmate to block. I hate it. I just hate it. Well. Oh, uh, yeah, I can attack. He can block. It's fine. <laughs> I have a card in my hand, though. Two mana open. What do you think it is, opponent? Well, 
Let's see. Oh, uh, we've got a dark and a doom to center down there. Oh, they've got some pretty nice stuff for the blood fountain. He's been pretty unlucky with the swamp. There's always a risk of this happening with double pip cards. I, I didn't highlight it a lot when I was building the deck, but it is a risk. Black is the slightly smaller color in the deck. This is double pips. It's a four drop. So, you know, it's not as bad as a three mana two black card would be. You're more likely to find it by turn four, but still. It's a risk. They've chosen to flip. Alright, the Jailbreaker is going to come in. I have no strong reason to come in with the other ones, though. If they block, I'm definitely going to try to kill that stupid pack. I think I will play this Epicure if I top deck, you know, another mountain next turn. How many are left in the deck? One? No, two. I think there's two more. I think there were nine mountains when I built the deck. There's five. There's two there. Yeah, there's... Um, there's two mountains left in the entire deck. Fill that pack, mate. You got a trick option. Well, doesn't really matter how I assign the damage. I did say that Undying Malice was a pretty good card, and I'd be happy to pick it up late in a draft. It's just... I've flooded out, and all with red. That's kind of disgusting. Okay, now they have a gift of things that's shrinking the depraved harvester. Sure. I'm gonna kill this Ravager. Like, taking 11 here and cracking back for uh, 5 plus 2 life, I'd go to 7, I'd be up to 9, we'll just die on the crackback again from there. It's not great. They're going to use this Blood Fountain. They have nothing left to do. I'm going to get back a couple of amazing creatures with it. If there's a Blood Fountain in this deck, I could do the same thing. It takes black mana. Let's see what they get. Do I actually have to look at your graveyard here? You're only picking one? Oh my god, they misclicked. They misclicked! That's good. Okay, there's only one mountain left in the library now. One one cannot really block a six six trampler. There's no reason not to attack there. Oh wait, there is a reason not to attack there to flip the freaking farmer. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Fire spawn. No attacks.
come on over. They don't come on over. Visionary. Your turn. It's definitely a mistake not leaving the Epicure behind to flip the farmer. This damage. One less damage I should have had. Okay. Here we go. Kill Flame Breather. Could they just draw lands? I've just been drawing lands. How would that be, opponent? How about you just draw lands? Like mountains. I see a mountain over there. How about you draw nine mountains? I don't think they'd have to think about it this hard if they had a combat trick. If they come in with the pack mate, I must block, or I will die. Same is true of the Ravager, but I've got better blocks on the Ravager. It doesn't trample. Okay. No. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. No. The answer was no. Alright, I think I'm going to keep the visionary as a blocker here. Play this rack on turn. So I have better blocks on the packmate now. Ravager plus Harvester is 7 toughness. Obviously if they have you know, a combat trick or removal spell or something that's bad, but what can you do? <laughs> okay. This is painful. Painful, painful, painful. Oh, I dealt two damage to them. That's kind of nice. Alright, I got the Blood Fountain down. I can pull some creatures back soon when I have black mana. Oh, uh, what I got them? Fire Spawn, Ridge Wolf, Desperate Farmer. Probably need some Desperate Farmers, frankly. I mean, the Pyre Spawns are like the highest upside. Hey, they're finally coming in. Block. What you got? Nothing. Well, once I can gain some life again, Courier Bat can give me value. I'm going to use the Blood Fountain at instant speed on their turn, so if they have some the way to target my graveyard, I can respond. I can see no attacks right now. I'm at 9 and they're at 11. The game is... the script is flipping. Oh. What? Terrible! That was two wins and three losses. Absolutely awful. Okay. Well, here you go. Um, I feel like my opponents just had always had it and always had bombs. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, YouTube? Please, tell me in the comments. <laughs> Did I draft a bad deck? 
Was there some way I was supposed to be able to win those games? Let me know. And until next time, stay cool.